Star, we're going to redo Council Square again. I try to redo all my fairy gardens between one and two times a year. Uh, there's a lot of live plants that have been in here for a couple of years. And of course, you know this one I love taking pictures of too. I already have put some new plants in here and washed off uh, the buildings. But it still looks a little dull and uh, like it needs some sprucing up still. So I will show you what I do. I've sort of finished it up. It looks a lot better. I had a bag of moss that I took all this moss from. And when I get done with this picture, I'm going to put it back in that uh, bag for I can use it for other uh, projects. It gets pretty expensive if you leave this much moss in uh, your fairy gardens if they're this big. Usually I put them in my small little containers to fill in the dirt, but this time I just put it in this pretty big one as you can see. Uh, I have some old plants, some new plants, and the houses I've had for a couple years, if you go back on the uh, blog you'll notice these houses are all from the M&M Nursery. It was one of my great finds at $5 each. Uh, the tables and chairs, I don't quite remember where I got them, but it might be on the blog if you go back and read. Um, I've had um, my fairies here for uh, the Council Square probably about six, seven years. Uh, I've had them a long time, and they still look pretty good. There's a third one somewhere. I don't know where she's at. I'm hoping I find her in my big giant fairy yard uh, but at the moment when I took these pictures all I could find was two of them uh, all three of them should be over in this fairy garden but a lot of times what I do I move stuff around and put it with other, other things to look like I have more than I really have because when you blog every week it gets pretty expensive if you think you're gonna buy something new every week so most of everything in here um, the houses are a couple years old uh, I think the little white lattice work behind the uh, the fairies I've had for about two or three years and uh, the tables and chairs the same and of course I've had the, the fairies for years uh, they're they're sort of from the very not the very very beginning but pretty close to it so really I didn't go out and really buy anything except some new plants everything else in this um, thing I already had even the moss I already had um, so it wasn't too big of an expense. I probably spent, I don't know, maybe between, maybe about $25 or something to add some new plants. Because uh, the mums I bought, uh, some of these plants I already had uh, that I've been using in different uh, fairy gardens here the last couple of weeks. And they're gonna, and all these flowers are gonna be used in some other um, fairy garden uh, projects because I I don't have the money. I have I don't have anyone sponsoring me, so I have to pay for everything myself. If it wasn't for my fairy uh, followers that send me and give me things, um, and then of course I have children and grandchildren that buy me stuff for my birthday and Mother's Day and, and Christmas, so I get a lot of things that way too. So between recycling what I own and what people give me, that's how I do it. And once you, everyone knows that's what you do, you'd be surprised how many people give you things. I get stuff, I get something every single month somebody gives me uh, that has nothing to do with family. So uh, just keep out there and try making fairy gardens like I do. You love it. It's so much fun and rewarding.